Daniel, congratulations on, on the film. You're fantastic as Nicky Lauda in Rush. It's, Thank it's you. It's a, a very memorable performance. Uh, now, uh, the thing with Nicky Lauda, which I think is fantastic, is that he's very driven and determined in the movie, but he's also a bit of a dickhead. He can be a bit of a dickhead, <laughs> but he's also likeable. So was it hard to strike that balance between making him likeable despite the fact that he can actually be a bit of a dickhead? Yeah, well, uh, funny thing is the other day, uh, Nicky, after seeing the film three times, he came to me and he said, Daniel, was I really such an asshole? Do you think <laughs> we're so sweet? And I said, no, no well, but you kind of were and, uh, and are, but <laughs> you're also <laughs> likable. You're also likable. No, no, and that's what I found out uh, hanging out with him and spending time with him, that he's actually, he can be very charming yeah. and funny. You yeah. know? It's very ironic. Uh, and there's something I admire about this bluntness and straightforwardness. Mm. Mm. I wish I was a bit more like this sometimes, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean... Uh, to a certain uh, extent. To a certain extent. <laughs> but uh, uh, no, it's... it's um, and, and it was interesting. Uh, after, after one week, I went to Peter Morgan, the, the screenwriter, and I said, I had the same concerns. You know, I said, oh, will the people like me? I mean, he's really a dickhead. And, uh, <laughs> and Peter said, no, no, trust me, trust me. There's something about it. You know, there's, yeah. some, there, there's, there's really that sense of humor be, behind it. And at the end, what I like about the movie is that um, uh, um, you would have empathy with both of these guys, you know. Mm. You don't have ending uh, or rooting for, for only for James Hunt, you know, being against uh, yes. uh, Nicky. There's not a hero and a villain. It's uh, You would understand both of these guys' philosophies and, and, and like them. Yeah, and that's absolutely right. Like, you don't actually sort of... Uh, they're both flawed, and yeah. uh, but, but both likeable. And you do use you sort of your, your allegiance switches uh, as you watch mm -hmm. the film. You're kind of like, you both want them to, to win because... Yeah, so that's a real achievement, to, I guess, mm -hmm. to make someone who is as blunt and asshole to people yeah. as Nicky Lauda, <laughs> and you get the audience on side, yeah. which well, is pretty great. <laughs> yeah. Um, did, did, did you encounter any... I mean, you said you encountered uh, Nicky's uh, uh, charm and humour. Did you encounter any, any of the famous uh, Nicky Lauda bluntness as well? Oh, yeah. So many times. I mean, uh, uh, the, the, the first conversation on the phone we had was uh, he called me at 6 o'clock in the morning and said... Uh, yeah, it's Nicky. I guess we have to meet now. And I said, yes, that'd be great. And then he said, uh, well, just bring hand luggage to Vienna. In case we don't like each other, you can piss off right away. And I was <laughs> like, ooh, that's uh, pretty pretty blunt. And yeah. Then, um, Fortunately, I had to buy some extra clothes in, in Vienna. Because it's the moment <laughs> than expected. Yeah. I know. And then after, you know, after the first conversation, we, uh, I, I had the impression that he, he liked the idea of me playing him. And then he was very supportive. He, 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 um, he went with me to, to uh, Brazil, mm -hmm. flew there with his own private jet, as you yeah, do, well, uh, when yeah. you're Nicky Lauda, and, yeah. and, and uh, invited me to come with him and introduce me to drivers, to modern drivers, but also to, to drivers back in the days. Uh, um, so... Um, yeah, and he's a very busy man and uh, has a lot to do. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm very thankful that he spent that much of his precious time with me yeah. to help me. Yeah, yeah. And, and has he given you much, you know, feedback or praise in your portrayal of him? Yeah, and that's, that's a big relief, you know, because he would have told me if it was bullshit. Uh, so <laughs> he's, 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 he's happy with it. Uh, yeah. In fact, he's very moved and... and um, uh, and he said it was very tough for him because he didn't remember anything about the accident. Yeah, so it was yeah. it was very intense for him to relive these moments mm. of the accident and in the hospital. And he said that after the premiere in London, he couldn't sleep. You know, it was yeah. just you know. Uh, so, but he's very proud, and so is uh, um, the Formula One world. Um, mm. They said that, that finally there's a good Formula One race movie and and Ron mm. Howard attended that screening at the Nürburgring at the racetrack mm. with Bernie Eccleston with Nicky with with Lewis Hamilton uh, Nico Rosberg uh, and many drivers mm. and they all loved the movie which is uh, high praise very important for us <laughs> yeah that's great and, and uh, were you sort of a little disappointed like a, a tiny bit disappointed that you didn't get the James Hunt role because I mean he's the guy I guess the drink the drugs <laughs> and the threesomes so yeah. was that a bit of a letdown sometimes I was disappointed I can tell you uh, <laughs> uh, uh, for a couple of weeks, I had this prosthetic makeup, you yeah. know, and it took six to seven hours. Um, uh, so they picked me up at 3 a.m. Uh, and um, and then I sometimes I would sit in the makeup trailer and have a look at the call sheet, and it said uh, Chris Hemsworth's pickup is at 10. First scene, Chris Hemsworth kisses a nurse. Second scene, Chris Hemsworth makes love on a plane. Third scene, Nicky Lauda checks his tires. You know? So by the time <laughs> Chris arrived and said, hey, buddy, how are you? you yeah. Know, I said, like, yeah. 
Yeah. Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. And, and look, they've got a pretty, a pretty great rivalry in the film, and it's a rivalry which pushes them both to do their best and kind of be better. Now, as an actor, do you have the equivalent? Do you have an acting rival uh, that you sort of, uh, you know, you, you, you spar when you see them and you, and you try and lift your game? Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's, it's not... Uh... It's not clever to be too competitive when when, when you're an actor. Uh, yeah. There's no there's there's not that one, you know, uh, rival that I have. And 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 um, and by the time you have to work with each other, it's really stupid to be uh, uh, too competitive, mm. um, because at the end of it, you know, the result suffers. And and you know, the better your partner is, the better you are. So yeah. it's, it doesn't yeah. make that much sense. But in sports, of course, you would always have these. These thrilling, fascinating rivalries. Yes, and yeah. and and a rival who can make you better at what you do and push you. You know, uh, so. Totally. Mm. And did Chris inspire you at all to perhaps consider putting on the spandex and maybe you know, being a, being a superhero, maybe getting into the superhero <laughs> genre at some point? Uh, uh, no, I'm 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 uh, I'm amazed and and uh, and and impressed uh, of, of 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 what he does. You know, because mm. it's 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 tough to make these movies. You know, it's it's a very it's very demanding and, and it's not 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 easy. Mm. Uh, so, but uh, I, I can't see myself. Maybe I would uh, I would love to be the a villain in, in one of yeah. those movies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can yeah, yeah. see that. I can see that. Is there yeah. a particular villain in particular in the in the superhero mm. world you'd like no. to? No. 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 Any, I mean, of course, Batman is always a, a, a dream part, uh, you know, to be a villain in a, in a Batman movie. Or, but, but actually, I would be happy with any kind of. Okay. Um, but I admire, you know, when when I saw uh, uh, and I, I talked to Chris, and he said, "Yeah, it is a strange feeling when you're wearing these strange costumes, you know, mm, mm. Oh, and, and swinging the hammer, you know." Yeah, I asked yeah. about it. So how do you, you know, how do you get into it, you know? Yeah. When is the moment when you start believing it, you know, looking in the mirror, standing there with a, you know? Yeah, it's, totally. It's, it's, it's not. It's not easy. It's, yeah, yeah. It's so tough. Well, we could so. start right now. You could. We. You know, obviously, they're doing. You know, the new Superman film. Batman's going to be. Doing, you should maybe. Um, uh, launch a campaign right now and say I want to be the Joker. <laughs> I want to be the Riddler. Is there anyone? Do you want to sort of put it out there and we can start up some kind of internet f f fury? Please do so. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Daniel Brühl is the Riddler. There you go. <laughs> Great. Let's just let's just get that rolling. Maybe I'm just gonna keep the Austrian accent. Yeah, I think no, you actually. should. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> you should do that. All right. Thanks so much for joining us. Pleasure. Okay. Cheers. Pleasure. Thanks. Cheers.